All right. Uh, <clears throat> good morning, guys. I'm going to show you folks how to uh, add crop marks to a PDF when you're using Illustrator. <clears throat> now, this file happens to be a PDF already, but that's okay. Uh, if it was an original Illustrator file, <clears throat> you would do the same processes, okay? So once you finish your complete design um, <clears throat> in Illustrator, and this is just a sticker that I did for the Swim and Dive team, you're going to go up here and go to File, and you do Save As. <clears throat> when you complete this step, it's important that you identify that your form has um, with crop marks on it. So swim stickers with crops. W means with, and then crops means I put the trim marks in there. I'm going to save it as a PDF, of course, right? Because originally this could have been an Illustrator file, <clears throat> but now we're going to save it as a PDF. Make sure you select that. When you hit save right here, since it already exists, I'm just going to say yes. You're going to get another window that's going to pop up right here. <clears throat> when this window pops up, you go down here where it says marks and bleeds. So you're going to click right there. You make sure this trim mark is <clears throat> checked off. And then the other thing, too, is if you happen to have a bleed on your project, you're going to want to make sure that you click this right here and say use bleed setup document. Use document bleed settings, okay, because you would have preset that in the Illustrator file. And once that's done, you just hit Save PDF. <clears throat> and now when you open up the PDF, uh, you will have a PDF that will have the crop box on it. And that's it. It's that simple out of Illustrator on how to create um, a PDF file with crop box. That's all. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me, rdion at gltech.org. Uh, or you can ask me in class, as always. Talk to you soon. Thanks.